Hey, I'm Fight the Fly Earth, and welcome back to the channel that douses stupidity in petrol and then offers it a cigarette. Today is episode 21 of Flurfs are Idiots and... Hold on. Hello, Fight... Hey, NASA, how you doing? Wait, what? You're, you're docking my shill pay? But why? You're sending me an audio file. Hold on. Introducing the most technologically advanced, topographically accurate, pseudoscience Earth model the world has ever seen. A model capable of making advanced pseudoscience predictions about our world with stunning 3D animations and an easy to use globe comparison mechanism. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Flat Earth Model. Sweet bejeebus, they've got a model that's bad. Can you send me some help? Ahoy hoy, I'm playing a walk. Can you send me somebody else? Yeah, I mean... I don't know how I'm supposed to fight the flat earth with with hip with him. Like, but, I mean, I know he's a member of SEAL Team Six. Yes, yes, Mr. NASA, sir. Certainly, sir. I do my best, sir. Goodbye. I love you too. So, looks like I'm being joined by Planner Walk to tackle the world's first flat earth model. This is episode 21 of Flurfs of Idiots, and it's for Slappy the Clown, otherwise known as Nathan Oakley and his lapdog Quantum Eraser. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. <laughs> Right, let's get on with this. I mean, um, I guess it's game over, right? If they've got if they've got a model, then then it's game over. That's it, man. Game over. So man. yeah, game over. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Gonna Slappy the clown and his little manservant are very excited about this. Oh, talking about Quantum Razor, he is one flurf that I'm yet to christen with a nickname. So leave your comments below for the new name of Quantum Razor. But anyway, let's see this model. So without further ado. On behalf of the Supreme Council and my highly esteemed and distinguished colleague who has been knighted. Hold on, knighted? Now nah, I need to check that. I'll just access my Freemason satanic phone book directory. Yeah, hello Lizzie. Yeah, sorry to bother you, it's fight. Yeah, quick question. Did you um did you knight Nathan Oakley, the flat earther? <laughs> Liz? I, um, no, I, I, I don't think Nathan Oakley is actually knighted. Sir Nathan Oakley, it is my honor and privilege to present the only model of the Earth that has seen the light of day over the past four years. Oh, God, no. This is it. We're done for. Are you ready? Here it is. The Flat Earth model. Here it is. Brought to you by our Flat Earth friends over at Google Earth. Hashtag same team. Oh, hold on. Did he just say that Google Earth is the flat Earth model? <laughs> Google Earth? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Oh dear me. good explanation as to why they think that Google Earth, which is a globe, is the flat Earth model. They seem to have hidden it in, in plain sight. So I didn't bring you here for us to gawk at this. Remember, we have two predictions to test. You know what, I bet any predictions made with that model will be correct, considering it's the globe that has Antarctica as a continent at the bottom and not an ice wall around the edge. Right, one at 500 miles and one at 1,000 miles. So let's take the 500 mile measurement. We'll wing on over to the med and jam with Mick and the stones. What do we got here? 
Did anyone see all that curve you just went over then? On the Flat Earth model, man, quantum erasure is a picnic basket short of a picnic, huh? Fleur often tell me that I'm too chicken shit to debate him. I've always said that no, I'll debate anyone, but in QE's case, I don't know if I want to debate him. It would feel like kicking a bag of kittens. I kind of feel sorry for him. I, I wonder what it's like to go through life being that fucking stupid. Well, we have a 500 mile distance between the shore of Sicily and Libya. So let's take a look here. So everything's in plain sight. We're going to take an elevation of point D. And what do we got? We have four feet. So let's wing on over to Sicily. What do we have for an elevation in Sicily? Well, we have four feet. You guys do see where this is going, right? It's four foot above sea level on, on both points. If you don't already, you're gonna need a pair of oven mitts or some pillows taped to your hands. Right, let's take a wider view. We'll get an elevation profile. So, from the shore of Sicily, for 500 miles, as you can see, we have a 0 0.00 vertical drop. In fact, it's 508 miles. Validating the first prediction of our flat earth model. Today, I offer you this gift. A nuclear facepalm. Guys, I am so sorry. Pillows would not have been enough. Yeah, that's some extra special stupid sauce. This has to be one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in all of my life. He thinks that elevation above sea level should take into account the curve of the earth. Like if you took a point in Ireland and a point in New York, it should show that in New York it's negative 3,000 miles. What an absolute dumbass. Please just go to the remedial classroom. <laughs> All right, morons and retards, settle down and shut up. Today we're going to explain what elevation means in regards to the Earth, which is a globe. I said it's a globe. Okay, before we start, Mr. Truth, I couldn't mark your school project. There was too many errors in the spelling, including your name spelt wrong, the title spelt wrong, the day and month spelt wrong, and the rest in an unreadable Comic Sans font. I've got two days to do it again. Anyway, this is simple, guys. Look at this half of a globe. These lines are all the same length above sea level. When you connect them, you get a level line. You wouldn't expect something that is showing height above sea level to show curve. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I spend every day with you dumbasses. Thank God that's home time. Get out. I hate you all. Where's the vodka? The globe tards only port in the storm against our model is this claim. Elevation is measured from the center of the Earth. That's just code for gravity, right? They put gravity into everything. I think it's in their scrambled eggs in the morning. <laughs> I don't eat eggs for breakfast. I eat flat earthers. Just check out my playlist of debates. I've been in loads. All right. So that is every point along the surface of the Earth is equidistant from the center of the Earth. Our retort, A, from their alma mater wiki. Elevation is not to be confused with the distance from the center of the Earth. And B, how in the world can they make the claim when they live on in an ellipsoid? Stop, guys, please. I'm, I'm begging you. Don't, don't facepalm again. I've, um, I've done some research and found out what happens if you facepalm too much. Can you tell us what's wrong with her? Yes, allow me to demonstrate. Could one of you do something stupid? Just as I suspected. Uh. Your daughter's been face palming at your stupidity for so long it's becoming dangerous. Take a look at this x ray. So the ignorance of QE is quite staggering. He's also referring to the whole Neil deGrasse Tyson said it's shaped like a pear thing. I mean, just look at these two circles. One of them is perfect and one of them is not. The difference is barely noticeable. It's so small that you can't even tell that this one 
isn't a perfect circle. It's the same with the fucking earth. Your flat earth model, my hairy ass. Try again. You embarrass yourself and your entire movement. We're going to go to Planner Walk after this brief interlude. Nathan, question. You ready? How do you convert meters into kilometers? I don't know. How do you convert meters into kilometers? What's the correct way? You tell me. The correct way is divide meters by a thousand. So if you have a meter and I divide that meter by 1,000, you don't think that would give you millimeters? Meters into kilometers, Nathan. You just said you divide meters about. by 1,000 to get kilometers. So you're saying I divide something that is one meter long by 1,000 and that will come out to a kilometer Nathan, value. Nathan, it sounds like, it sounds track, like you are quite track. literally retarded. You do not divide Red. meters Red. to come out with kilometers. Why would you divide a value that is given in meters to come up with something larger, i.e. kilo, because, not thousands? Nathan, because the thing you don't understand is that it's a ratio. Did you do maths at school? Why would you divide a meter value when trying to come up with a larger value? Dividing something makes it smaller. Oh dear. Ahoy hoy, I'm... Shut up! So as you might know, I went on Nathan's show this recently. This arrogant little millennial prick. You know, it'd be very nice if I could actually talk. You're just fucking retarded. So essentially, what I was trying to do was I was- SHUT UP! This is why it's impossible to argue with Nathan. So I was pretty much trying to explain to Nathan why Google Maps does not show that the Earth is flat. And so obviously, they started a little game called What's My Fallacy? The problem is though, that fallacies don't tend to work if the argument is incomplete. So if I say something like, if the Earth is round, then up is not the same for everyone, that is not fallacious in any way. Nathan would call that being the question. However, I've not begged the question because I've only said if A then B. I have not said B therefore A. And that was going to be my first premise, but I wasn't allowed to finish because I've got these forbidden words. You can't say spinning, Shut you up. can't say globe, Shut you up. can't say round, Shut up. you can't say gravity. So essentially, you're forbidden from making any kind of rebuttal to Nathan Oakley on Nathan Oakley's channel. But I'm on Fight the Flat Earth channel, so I can basically make any rebuttal to Nathan Oakley without getting interrupted. Yeah, that makes you a millennial little prick. I spoke too soon. But anyway, here's my rebuttal to Nathan Oakley or Quantum Erasers Flat Earth model. Premise A, direction is never absolute. An example of this would be if we were on a globe and I was in one country that's on the opposite side to a country that another person is in. We would have different ideas of what up is. Premise B, height is about the relationship between two points but only on one axis, and that would be the upwards axis. Premise C, some definitions of level just mean having no part higher than another part. And lastly, premise D is elevation literally just means height with respect to a level, like sea level. That means shut your stupid fucking mouth. Now, would it surprise anyone if Nathan didn't actually attempt to offer a rebuttal to any of those four premises? All he did was attack the examples that I gave trying to explain the first premise to you him. You unbelievable little bastard. But the real problem there was I was interrupted. You somehow think that's fucking Earth Curve. So as I was saying before I got interrupted, the problem was is that there would be so many interruptions that by the time- stupid shitheads. There were so many interruptions that by the time I got to the next point, the previous point had been completely lost on them. And rather than let me get to the end of my example, you talk over the top of it when I get to the conclusion each time. But if Nathan had have followed those premises through, it would have been self-evident why his so-called model did not prove the earth was flat. Fucking turd in the punch bowl. But anyway, I have better things to be doing right now, so back to wait, he's over that way, isn't he? Back to you, fight the flat No, um, I'm over here. Never mind. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to Wolfie6020's son in the link up there, if I, if I remember to put it in. Now, before we go, let's look at Nathan Oakley being a dumbass again. In this clip, Nathan tries to explain why things appear to disappear from the bottom up on a flat earth. 
So for a long time I've been trying to make the analogy that if you take off a pair of shoes and back away from them, you will see them disappear eventually due to their angular size being too small to see. And you can induce this effect by reducing the angle. So the angle of attack is essentially what causes things to disappear from bottom up. So in this example I've set a book at the end of this very long hall which they play table tennis on so it's incredibly flat. They play table tennis on so it's incredibly flat and uh, that's, that's good enough for you is it? When trying to demonstrate this incredible new discovery of angle of attack, your methodology is, yeah, looks kind of flat to me. You fucking idiot. And as you can see, as I lower my angle, the book disappears. Now purely by chance, as I was doing this, somebody came along and actually picked up and removed the book as they were clearing away the hall while I was doing this. But just by luck, there was a woman with a pair of shoes on actually lifting the book out of place, which you can see here. So as she reaches down, the book and her shoes disappear purely by chance but very handy as it matches the example I give so the shoes vanish the person who has a bigger angle obviously they're larger than their shoes is still perfectly visible and this is exactly the same as a pair of wind turbines disappearing into the distance or anything disappearing into the distance due to angular size or the angle of attack being too limited to see the item okay let's wrap this up by showing people one absolute clown you actually are. Yeah, the bottom of those items, they're probably going to disappear first because they're in another room, which is clearly a little bit below the perfectly flat because you said so table tennis floor. And that's all for today, guys. But before we go, I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons. Your support allows me time to focus on my channel and do what's important, bringing you great content and fighting the flat earth. I want to say an extra massive thank you to my $200 patrons, Christopher Kane and Jeffrey Sloan. If you'd like to join and become part of the FTFE team, go to patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed episode 21 of Flurfs Are Idiots. If you've enjoyed, why not leave a thumbs up? And if you're not already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my premieres or live streams. And starting next week, Every Monday will be debate night on my channel with the new Monday Night Debates. So, if you're a flurf and you've got the balls to debate me, leave a comment or send an email to fighttheflatearth at gmail.com. Also, if you want me to host a debate between you and someone else, that can be arranged. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat.